our first stop to be to get a drink. Yes. <laughs> what are your names? Chimdi. Damn, that's And Bree. Hello, Kisela. Yesenia. Why you. did you think, oh, hi, to celebrate? It was open. <laughs> <laughs> you been good time? Your pro camera. I'm just making a YouTube video where it's gonna be like day trip to Ohio. I love it. So walk us through where we're going and also why. So we're going to Ohio, like an hour and a half outside of LA. It's a really cute, kind of hippie town, small town vibes, cute boutiques, little grassy areas. I'm gonna capture your hair because your hair is so awesome. <laughs> like I don't know. Awesome. This is just like me not caring about my hair anymore. <laughs> it uh, seems healthy. <laughs> I actually put a lot of ghee in it today, so sorry. Really? If I it's like it was like a mixed oil that has. You can ghee eat ghee. Mm -hmm. You can use it for your hair too. Yeah, any any like really nourishing fat is gonna be good anywhere. So good to know. I've been slowly accumulating supplies, so I have a two-person tent, mini cooler, a pad, and a sleeping bag. I've not slept in a sleeping bag in a very long time. It's an experience. It's an experience. <laughs> is it nightmarish or is it lovely? It's. A little bit of both. <laughs> I don't like being confined, but right, hey, because you have to zip yourself up in that. But you just don't go when there's extreme weather. Like don't go when it's too cold, and you can just have it unzipped and like put your leg out. You know. Are we annoying you? <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna fall off the edge. I think it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. I was talking to my friends, and we were talking about like relations. Whatever your 
heart desires. We were gonna stay just one night and we all decided that the, between the force of us all, we could stay another one. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here. Three. Three. I booked the night, but then I ended up not getting tomorrow off. So we're just mm. here for the day. What time do you have to work tomorrow? Nine. Oh, you can leave real early. I just stay. Really early. I don't, I don't, we we made friends time. with some Polish family. Y'all can come to dinner with us with that. Oh. You were talking about fear and like, what's your most feared moment? Is that what you're saying? I think honestly, the thing, the hot second of fear, which I haven't let myself properly experience, is actually investing further into my creativity and Ooh. letting it be my thing. Because it's so much easier to just like live comfortably working work a regular somewhere. role. Yeah. yeah. And there's meaning in that as well. Like the work that I get to there's do. There's security in it. There's security in it. It's not as if it's, there's like a right and wrong path. They're just different. And what is you know? your, mostly your creativity? What, what is it mostly? Just all the different it? versions of storytelling. And it's stuff like this, Me like too. connecting with people. And same, yeah, just telling same. stories and showing humanity. And so I do like some like policy related work. And I think mm -hmm. a lot of what we decide to do, create policy around, has to do with the stories we've been told mm -hmm. and the stories we tell ourselves. Absolutely. And if we can just change the it's story. It's our limit. Our yes. limit is the story we've been told. Yes. Yeah. And a lot of it has to do with yeah. who deserves our resources that we assume are limited. And I yeah, feel like if yeah. you can do the work to change the stories we tell, that can change how we share our resources. Oh, yeah, so baby. that's the thing that like moves me. But it's, Same. it's scary to do that when you could just work a regular nine to five, you get your little 401k, you make a little stock oh, market money. That. Here's the thing. It's not the either idea. or, it can be both. It's not either or. I think the idea is to realize that as storytellers, we are needed, wanted, mm -hmm. and coveted. The last hot second of fear I had was Mine was any wrong. realizing I got into graduate school for journalism. I was supposed to move to New York. I'm supposed to be there now. And then COVID happened yeah. and just my life was on hold. And I was kind of okay with it because really it's the least terrible thing that could have happened. And then the revolution happened. I realized that I was going to have to like step up, be my own teacher from a distance, mm. but participate because as a journalist, why would I sit this out? This is everything. I'm I'm scared, y'all. I'm so scared. I'm I'm worried that I'm like I'm not gonna be able to do. I'm, but I'm worried that doing it. I'm just gonna do it anyway.